Hello Africa, hello the world, hello Tanzania. Uh, my name is Innocent Kashibu, Kashibu FX. I'm a CEO and co-founder of FX Ground Investor. This is an organization which deals mainly in the forex industry. And this year, this year I will be also giving up some advice for those traders who want to get in into forex industry and uh, for those traders who are already inside the forex industry. Last year, a time like this, I recorded a video and it was educative, so it was in Swahili and uh, and it was helpful to uh, to most of the people. And this year, I also decided also to record a video since I've seen some errors and some mistakes which many people do when they want to join this business. And today, I will be talking about, first, I will brief a little of, about my journey in trading. And then from there, I will move into the advice to beginners in forex trading, what I will advise beginners when they want to join this business. Uh, most of the mistakes are made in trading. I will be talking on them and the advice to experienced traders. Yes. So these are the four main things which are going to be talking about today. Now, uh, let us make long story short and uh, let me just brief you uh, the, the way it started for me to join this journey in Forex trading. It was around 2017 and I was trying to look for the way I could make money online. And luckily enough, I was exposed the first into and Bitcoin investment and from there I came across some people claiming that they're doing Forex. That is when I decided to try and to dig deep in this Forex business. This is how I got into Forex business and I made my commitment and I joined in Forex trading officially on January 2018. This was the time when I joined this business. Now uh, this is just a short history of, of my trading journey. And I've been in this market since 20, 2020. Hopefully, it's almost uh, two and a half years almost. So I thank God for this, and uh, I wish also I could, I could, I could inspire more people so that they can also get into this business. And uh, a little advice to beginners in forex trading: uh, by the time I joined this business, uh, by the time I joined this business. Uh, I, I, I tried to look for the advice from people. But what I, no I noticed what I noticed is that most of the people, when they're talking about forex trading, they are trying to give out uh, information or, or the knowledge which they have by acquiring it from somebody without either trying it or either test if it is true. And uh, that was the thing which I noticed, I noticed the earlier. The first thing which most of the of the of the of the of the people tried to to to, to advise me, it was that uh, I should go through the books much, which was not the the realistic move. As I gained experience, I realized that only going to the books and reading books does not guarantee you to become more experienced in this forex business. As usual, in learning anything, you're supposed to be having a practical assignments like that which will be helpful in your journey now uh if you stick only to books you can read a thousand ten thousand because it is just like a story but if you can't implement it it is hard that's why in our uh, in, in our 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 normal educational system uh most of the people most of the people who go to the primary level secondary level they just do uh, theoretical training rather than they don't do practical training that's why they when they come back to the market of 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 of, of employing themselves it is hard so by that experience by that experience as i received that advice to people and i noticed it is not true so if you want to go inside in this business at the beginner and you want to join in this business of uh, in forex trading uh the good advice is that you should be obtaining information either from books any source but after obtaining it make sure that you don't only go deep and just go direct like i have already understand and go inside the market you are supposed to go back and take some some practices practices in the market and see if you, what you read on the book is what you can see if what you understood on the book is what is you can see exactly on the market this is one of the things which i noticed and this is the advice i give you as the new trader you're supposed to consider it reading 10 books 100 books 
does not guarantee you to become uh, experienced in this forex industry. You only become experienced not only by ears, but also by experiencing the real effect or real movement of the market. So try your level best when you start maybe reading the first book, uh, when you're done with it, but but don't don't go straight just reading the book till the end and then is when you're going to be practicing books most of the time they have categories maybe like sections maybe they have the introductory part and which is more important when you start you start you you, you want to join this business try your level best to to start with the introductory part introductory part of this business so that you can understand uh the way people are operating in this business how does it does it take place the realistic of it is it uh is it uh the future is it not the future so that you can know what are the main content in this business then when you you move to the introductory part uh try to verify it by visiting other source of information to verify the introduction you obtained from one book is it relevant to others which are to, the, the others which are what are they saying like questioning people like that that is the good advice and when you you move from introductory part make sure you familiarize yourself with uh, with what we call platforms uh we have a lot of trading platforms in forex trading and it is hard to know which one is the best or which one is not good which one I will you feel comfortable with but the one which you come across at at the beginning when you want to trade you are supposed to learn on it just don't ignore or don't be afraid that uh maybe I'm using the platform which is not the best uh try to understand it i believe all the platforms are good but but there are famous platforms in forex trading whereby uh used by most of the people whereby most of the people they we do use metatrade 4 and metatrade 5 which are the biggest platforms and the common to, to to our devices also there are others others more 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 platforms so make sure you familiarize yourself with the platforms which you are going to be using because these are like uh like operational tools if you can't handle the tools then no products even if you have the capital so you're supposed to focus on the tools which you will be using uh, be aware of them the way they operate the way you can uh you can you can you can run them the devices which are com uh, they can fit in so that you can be aware of it then from there uh, there is what we call uh, analysis strategy. When you 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 start you start moving through the book, most of the book are strategy books. So try to to focus on the analysis strategy, uh, of which this is the main part. Most of the books they talk they talk on, or uh, not only books or uh, YouTube YouTube channels and other people. So make sure that you focus on the on the issue of 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 YouTube, the issue of YouTube. The, the the issue of 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 what of what we call analysis strategy you're supposed to be aware of analyzing the market just knowing the prediction of the direction like that when you're done with the with the issue of uh, analysis strategy try to get yourself aware of the entry and existing strategy the, this is another strategy which you're supposed to be aware with and when you're familiarizing you are familiar with yourself about the entry and existing strategy in this forex business make sure you consult fundamentals and sentimental analysis which is the big thing which you are supposed to be able to master it because before going to the real market and when you're done with that uh you are supposed to go to the uh issue of money management and risk management these are two things which i will try to clarify more on the mistakes most of the traders are making Okay, uh, the mistakes most forex traders do uh, in their trading journey uh, first is believing everything which they obtain from the information providers from books or video youtube videos such kind of thing uh the first thing which most of the book they like they like to state and you'll find it as the professional trader or a new trader who want to join in forex trading uh the first uh example which uh the first thing which most of the of the books with will, will advise you is to do demo trading for more than for at least three months which was good and most of these books uh 
most of these books they were correct in advising people to do this such movement because it enables to it enables you to build in yourself uh, self confidence such kind of thing but uh, uh good enough to my side when I, I joined forex trading immediately after i joined uh technology was one of the thing which took part uh in my journey and uh, i noticed there is a uh, something which you called a back tester if you go back and review some of my videos in the past i've already explained uh, the the, the back testers and uh, by that time when i joined the back testers which you could obtain and who were good in assessing your strategy rather than trading trading for three months they were very expensive by the way before i go in deep in this in this situation let me try to brief you what is a back tester a back tester is just like a you know, software which enables you to do trading to do trading in the past market not in a fake market in a past market so for example last last week maybe i didn't trade i can i can start tr today at this moment i can go back to the my back tester and uh, rewind the chart till the, the the date of monday then start trading like i was in that week till today so this back tester tried to build you confidence that if i could be in the market past week i could make this or i could lose this based on my strategy now most of the traders when they they read books the inform information which they get from the book is that uh they should do demo trading not less than three months. Most of the books they advise that. Or the, the, by the time you, you you get competent with the market is when you can go to the real account. Now this is one of the information which I've did. I did my research and I think is not educative enough or is not uh, appropriate since uh, when you're doing demo trading, when you're doing demo trading uh, within three months, their economic data, social, political, and uh, and uh, social, political, and economic data, which normally affect this market, and when it affects it, it sometimes goes astray based on your strategy and such kind of thing. Now, it is hard to develop your 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 capacity of of patience and your capacity of of good performance by by doing this demo trading, since. After every three months, when you look by experience, by every three months are not the same as the three months of the past three months. So every after every three months, there is a new environment generated within the market. So most of the traders, if they do demo trading, you'll end up yourself doing demo trading for three months. You go to the real account, you ban. Then you go back to the demo account for two months. You go back to the real account, you ban for a week. Then that means you'll be taking a lot of time going to the demo account rather than operating in real account. Now, to save yourself time and uh and to save and to be able to master this this journey easily, and this is the advice which I give people, is just is just to use a back tester. This back test of T interceptor, it enables you back to test your strategy. Maybe I've learned, I've taken some time, maybe about, about a certain strategy, analysis strategy, maybe. I've taken some time and ran it and learned about it for some for some few weeks. Then I go back to my back tester and try to do analysis and try to predict if what I learned could help me in predicting my direction. Maybe I can take some some hours to do my back testing, but normally to my side, I within a year each year i do back testing twice and the big reason for me to do back testing twice is because first of the of the thing in order to modify my money management and also in order to modify my strategy and this is the big thing so normally uh when you do back testing when you have learned something new you go to your back tester you try to test it if it works well when it fits then you use it in the market for real market rather than going back to the demo account and to avoid going to the demo account, they have this account which call them sent account. There is a video of mine which I've talked about what you call uh I introduced the broker Fortefs. I could I will lay down the, the, the information about that broker in the uh, later. But I, I I showed in that video how you can operate with the sent account rather than for a person who goes back to the to the real live account so it's 10 it's 10 times better you, you use a center account as your demo trading for practicing and then you use maybe live account for your trading as no more no more no more normal movement this can enable building confidence in you because you'll be trading by emotions you'll be trading by emotion and they're going to help you much 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 better in your journey of trading so the first mistake most of the people uh, most of the of the of the people they make they follow informations from the books 
One of it is by doing demo trading for three months, which is, I think, it is absolutely wrong. It is 10 times better to use a backtester. And I think the people who were writing these books in the past about uh, using demo trading, they were good because they were correct and because of that, at the time in that period where backtester, they were so expensive. And if they were not expensive, they were not there. But most of the people who are, jo are writing books for nowadays, they just copy pasting that, that advice from that book. They don't they don't work in reality. Another thing which are most of the book and, if, and people, they do advice, is that uh, you're not supposed to be trading I don't know, on Monday and Friday, where I don't know the market when it's opening, when it's it does what, such kind of thing. This is one of the information which also I, 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 I want to inform you that is one of the information which I got it wrong to most of the people. In reality, sometimes, sometimes Friday is better than Monday. Sometimes Monday is better than Wednesday. So trade every time you see your strategy has provided you confirmation in the market. Don't reason about, I don't know, there is always a bad day, there is always a good day, such kind of thing. Another thing is about, uh, about, about most of the people, when they start trading, this is for, is also a mistake most of the of the traders making when they start trading maybe in they are trading gold USD or GBB USD when they make a, lo a a huge massive loss from those pairs they just quit trading them and then they shift they move to another pair uh this is like a, a real a real movement in the past when you join when you try to lead some information in the past years they always talk about what we call euro usd they say euro usd is the most volatile pair such kind of thing what what that is good also it is true but there are some pairs which do better movement do better movement every day in the market and it is not constant for example jp euro jpy GBB, jpy they do good movement but i don't know if it will be continuation it will be their continuation maybe next year we'll be having gpb usd and and usd chief maybe next next year we'll be having usd zar and usd knock so it will be depending on the way the economy of that currency it is will be operating so don't focus only i'll be trading gpb jpy i'll be trading no you're supposed to have multiple players so that you can be fit and also you can be good in one pair that is also good but when you make a loss from one pair don't 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 ignore it and stop trading it learn from it and it sometimes happens and it will not be always that you'll be making loss from that pair that is it so these are the are, the, are some of the mistakes which i've seen most of the traders are making and uh and uh for you new trader and the trader who you are still in the market this is like an ad device which i want to tell you and this is one of the these are among the mistakes which are very very big if you're not careful with them be careful Tell him out. A back tester which I was talking back tester. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Batista and it is a T interceptor. This is one of the of the of the of the software which I use. It is like MetaTrade 4 Trading View or other software of trading, but it has what we call Backtester, which is the best cheap. It is cheap, available, and easy. You can also use tra tra use it while you are you are you are using a phone. So you can backtest if you have a device of a phone only. If you have a laptop, you have a, a, a computer, you can use this platform. It's the best interceptor. And avoid trading demos for three to four months. They will just destroy your, your trading ability since they have zero emotions. And um, and I talked about uh, the issue of, of pairs, of most of the informative, uh, that when you make a huge loss in a certain pair, make sure you don't you don't focus or leave it forever. Just try to to be looking for opportunity based on your strategy to a specific pair so that you can be good at them. So yeah, these are the big two mistakes which most of the traders do. These are the two big mistakes which most of the traders do. 
So and, uh, we'll be talking about advice for the advanced traders. I think the informa information which most of the traders they got from the books, they don't know how to interpret. This is the big mistake. I will be honestly, uh, I've been trading, uh, I've been training people in forex trading. The main situation which I'll face in this thing, most of the people when they read these books because they use some financial knowledge, such kind of thing, most of the people they try to understand those things on their own level. This is the big mistakes most of these traders and most of us traders we're making. Now, this is one of the things which most of the traders, they have copped from their, these books. That uh, as a good trader, you're supposed to be focusing on pips and not focusing on profit, which is the very big mistake. I will challenge you by, by, by giving you a good a, a, a single example. Let's say I'm, I'm Lafri trading USD chief. USD chief. And I, I make maybe net profit, maybe positive pips, and I successful collected su positive pips. Uh, no, negative pips. I successful collected negative pips, which is almost negative, negative forty pips. And uh, and uh, I, I also trade uh, a certain pair GBB and Z. That means in my watch list I only have two trade two pairs GBB and Z and USD chief GBB and Z D. And uh, I I I successful made uh, positive 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 60 pips for 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 traders who have poor knowledge in this in this business they will tell you that this guy is in profit and he is in profit by positive 20 pips and that means he will be making some profits which is totally and completely wrong I will give you an example. I'll give you an example and uh, not only an example, the realistic condition. Uh, the PIP value for GBB and Z and USD chief, their variation are very far. And I've tried to use these pairs, these two pairs, because their PIP value, they are not too close. They are very far away. So for a trader, who are, you, you can be a trader and you're trading USD chief and GBB and Z, but you are net PIPs of profit of positive 20, but you might be in a, loss so let us go and see in usd chief and uh, let us keep our constant for those people because this is most of the traders they 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 go back and normally they use minimum 0 0.01 this is the minimum lot size a trader can use let's say we'll be focusing for those who know how to count pips but if you don't know how to count pips and these are very informative knowledge about uh about lot size, about pip value, leverage, all these things. I always teach it. I always teach to my students. If you wanna join, you can join me in my training. I will lay out some some information which are good in the at the end, so that you can join my training or you can you can you can be able to to join us in trading. So uh, a lot size of zero point zero one when you convert it into units because the platform which you are going to use to determine the to determine the 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 amount of money which will be make or lost, it use units instead of lot size. A lot size zero point zero one is it's it's equivalent to a thousand pips for those a thousand units. Sorry, a thousand units. So uh, let's go direct to our platform, uh, which will determine the pip value, so that you can see for a person who made USD chief forty pips will be making how much how much for zero point zero one. And for those for a person who created a profit of GPB and ZB and made a profit of positive 60 will be making how much okay this is one of my platform which i normally use it to calculate the pip value and i will first uh try to show you this is the area of account currency we will put our current pairs here here and then our trading units uh that means is the lot size we will turn it into units and we keep the pip value p amount of pips which we'll be correcting and then it will display our as for pip value each pip value, how much we'll be making basing on the on the unit we have written here, and it will provide us how much we'll be making basing on the pips which we have provided, and uh, it will show us in a standard lot, it will provide how much min lot, it will provide how much, and micro lot, it will provide us how much. So let's 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 go straight. Let's go straight. Let me clear this first. Sorry. Let me create first. Yeah, let me let let us start. Uh, my account currency. Uh, I do use USD. 
let's try let's say our our account for trading it is usd and our current pair we said that uh we begin with the usd chafe uh because we lost 40 pips on usd chafe uh usd chafe and our trading size units uh we said it's 0 0.01 that means it is a thousand units when you convert it into units and number of pips which you collected you were 40 but we were in a negative now automatically uh when you start focusing on the profit med on the profit on the loss med automatically we lost almost 4.11 dollar so let's go and light this uh this 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 what this uh this this loss which was made it is 4.1 so let's let's light zero uh, we made a loss so we lost almost 4.1 usd we didn't love round off anything and this is on negative we lost the negative 4.1 usd and when you go back again to calculate for gbb and z i'm just changing the currency the currency pair which is gbb and zd New Zealand dollar, Great Britain pound against NZD dollar and NZD, and uh, and uh, we lost almost, we, we made almost sixty pips, and automatically, and automatically, by looking at the way the answer came up, by looking at the way the answer came up, if you can see properly, if you can see properly, it provides us with the profit of how much three point five dollars. If you round off, we say automatically it's three point six dollars for sixty pips of GBB and Z. But that was only forty pips of USD chafe. So when you take it back, when you take it back to to the profit, automatically roughly, uh, it was three point five. But we rounded off and we got three point five six what USD automatically this person will be in a profit of almost positive what positive positive 20 pips but in reality he will be in a loss in a loss of almost 0 0.5 usd so this is what most of the traders when they are reading books and they don't understand what they are doing they just got the information wrong so you might be making if you're focusing much on pips you will make up you you find yourself losing so if you want to to know what kind of pairs should be trading that their 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 currency pip value should be at least not valuable the at least when you are trading and you are focusing on pips you should use pairs with the same pip value but if you use pairs with different pip value it will cost you a lot this is what most of the people end up losing and they they end up blaming the brokers and they 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 they, they distract themselves. So if you focus on pips, you might be in a positive pips, but also you might end up in a loss. You made a loss of negative zero point five, but you are in a profit of negative what of positive twenty pips. So stop focusing on pips and start focusing on the profits if you want to be successful in this forex business. Know how much you'll be making, know how much you'll be losing in this forex business, and it will be helpful to your side of trading. Another advice which I want to provide to these advanced traders or traders in the market, it's about the brokers. Uh, most of the people they just shift it to bro one broker to another, and this they 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 compare they compare they compare these two brokers basing on the, the the situation which they think on their own now uh the thing which i'm supposed to be i will be providing uh to my side i do use three brokers and i'll give you the reason where most of the traders they just add more broker more brokers without any reason i'll provide you with more reason why do i use these three brokers uh the first thing is about uh i'm using templar templar fx this is my best broker because he have islamic account which this this islamic account doesn't have swap so it is zero swap so it enables me to swing to swing very well with this broker without any problem as as long as i hold even a trade for six months five years whatever the case it will be in a good situation another situation another reason uh the way the reason i use this template effects is because of of instantly deposit and withdraw the good enough thing the good enough thing in the past uh we were depositing instantly and withdrawing instantly so the broker instant instability the, the instant situation of deposit and withdraw is what make me good i will show you i will drop down the link of the of the broker so that if you want to join this broker due to the reason which i've provided it's good and well another broker which i'm using 
it's I, it's it's what we call just forex this is one of my best broker in forex trading and the big reason is because i do use this broker for fundamental trading most of the fundamental traders and if you find a trader of finding find a trader that uh, that trades while there is a uh, while he's a fundamental trader and is using a broker like templar he's totally a scammer because templar normally uh 10 to 15 minutes before the news he lower his spread is leverage from maybe the maximum leverage which the broker has is one ratio two thousand and lower it to one ratio two hundred. As the fundamental trader, leverage is one of the two which will help you. And if you are not a fundamental trader, or if you want to become a fundamental trader and you have bad knowledge in leverage, it will be hard for you to make money from it. So if you want to become a good fundamental trader, you're supposed to be aware of the leverage and how to use it effectively to your side. Now most of the most of the traders, most of the traders, they they, they 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 don't focus on the on the on the on fundamental trading but some they do focus on fundamental trading now the big reason why i use just forex is because first the broker has the maximum leverage of one ratio thirty thousand, and he maintains it even if there is a fundamental release so this is one of the advantage which i like it from this broker and about exclusion time the exclusion time of this broker when i say exclusion time when you place a trade there is a time which is taking in order for the broker to open the trade, it almost 0.05 second for this just forex. But for Templar, it's high, and I can't use Templar because the, the the broker doesn't allow me to use big leverage in fundamental trading, and also the exclusion time is high than this broker. So this is why this is the big reason why I'm using just forex. The reason are two because he maintains his leverage, which is big one ratio three thousand during the news release and the uh, fundamental release and also he has small exclusion time which can enable me to prevent slippage so go in for those who don't understand what i'm talking about about slippage if you're not advanced trader go and do your search as a fundamental trader you're supposed to be aware of what we call the slippage and also another thing another broker which i'm using is the broker of fortfs fortfs uh for fortfs the big reason why i like this broker the broker though he has big spread than templar he has big spread than just forex he has high exclusion time and template just forex but the broker contain unlimited leverage which the good and advantageous thing about this broker even if i i i i, I trade most some pairs it doesn't provide even a margin it just allow you to trade and when the trade is in profit automatically it allows you to withdraw your balance to zero just what you're supposed to make sure is that when the market comes back to your when the bucket comes back to your entry side, it doesn't stop you out. If it stops you out, you'll make or lose nothing. So this is one of the advantage. I've talked about this Fort FS broker in my my past two videos. I think last two videos before I have uploaded, I've talked a lot about this broker. So it's also the best broker. So most of the traders, when they want to join the broker, they don't focus on why do I want to add a broker uh why do i want to add a broker so advice which i'm using i'm advising you is that as the bro as the trader you're supposed to be having not less than three brokers and in these three brokers you're supposed to be distributing your capital the big reason behind you can either distribute it based on my the way i did based on the their probability of trading uh their trading environment uh difference and uh, if you can't, you can do that. Make sure that you you can select brokers with the same environment, but you distribute your capital for the safety. Because sometimes the market tries to collapse, and when they collapse, sometimes the brokers delay to make to withdraw such kind of things, and they face some problems. So that you cannot be one of the of the person who face this problem in this area. So in selection of the brokers. I advise you, don't just only focus. This is the very stupidity idea whereby by traders focus on selecting brokers. They just focus on the spread. And they think spread is the is the only thing which can define a broker. There are some brokers which or the, there's some brokers account which they provide a spread, or they provide an a account which doesn't have what we call uh they provide an account which doesn't have what we call a spread, though they have a commission. You will never find a broker who doesn't have who has zero spread and zero commission because this is the place where they're making money from. So stop stupid stop your 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 stupidity reasoning on focusing only on the spread and start focusing on exclusion time, leverage, and uh, and the issue of of operation of the broker based on the deposit and withdrawals, minimum deposit, minimum withdrawals. These are the most important thing in trading rather than the spread only. Though the spread also is is very important, but most of the traders they only end up in looking for the spread, and uh, 
and this is the is the advice which I wanted to to talk about about for these advanced traders and for those who wanna join my mentorship, my mentorship is available and training. Mentorship is free for a person who take my training and my training it is seventy USD for this year. 